Well, hello, hello, good morning. Welcome to my drawing challenge. I'm Mark Kistler, and this is the Mark Kistler Live on YouTube. Ooh, I'm so excited we get to draw in 3D today. This is our 30 days, 30 drawings challenge. One drawing a day for 30 days. And I'm proud of you for accepting the challenge. Now, whether it's you're accepting the challenge, this is your first day, or whether this is your 21st day it's never too late to start I'm so excited you're taking this challenge and accepting the challenge to expand your imagination and ignite your inspiration yeah so let's get right into the drawing let's uh let's take our let me just switch the camera off here I'm so excited today we're going to be drawing today we're going to be drawing that right there the mouse hole let me get this over here let me get the screen all set up here I'm so excited you're taking this challenge 30 days, 30 drawings. Now, if you have fun, be sure to share this video and this link with all your friends. Let's get a million uh, YouTube subscribers. Subscribe to this channel and drawing. One drawing a day for 30 days, okay? So, we're going to draw this one right here. Now, this is one of my hour-long lessons on Mr. Mark Mondays at my, my Mark Kistler live site. And I'll tell you more about that later. But we're going to draw this really cool little uh, 12 to 15 minute video lesson. It's going to be so much fun. So let's get ready here. Take your pencil and let's draw a light line going up what I call direction northwest. So we're going to draw a light line going up here. That'll be our guideline. Now when I say a light line in direction northwest, it's slanted a little bit up to the left. And at markkistlerlive.com on my Mr. Mark Mondays, we talk about the drawing compass. And these are the four positions that artists will uh, position their characters or objects or objects in an environment that they're drawing. So these are the four positions. Today what we're using is this line right here and we're going to have the, the noses, all the little little mouse noses. They're, this guy is coming down here in direction southwest. So we're going to be using these positions just about every, not going to use it every single time, but just about every time you draw and you want to draw in 3D. And you can look at, you can twist and turn your paper to kind of define that line. All right, so there's your light guideline. It's sketchy, loose, doesn't have to be perfect. All right, well, let's start with a doorway. I'm going to make this, this doorway a little bit thicker. <coughs> I mentioned it gets smaller as it moves away. So I'm going to do vertical lines. If you can match the vertical lines up with the side of your TV screen or the side of your monitor or the side of your paper, these are vertical lines as opposed to horizontal lines going to the horizon, horizontal going across. All right, good job. Now the near hit. Now talking about the twelve Renaissance words. Watch this. The near part of the doorway or the the hole, the mouse hole, is going to be larger. This is taller, and this is going to be a little bit smaller down here. Let me zoom this in so you can see what we're doing. So we're going to do several doors. I'll put three doors. Now the near door is going to be larger, and it gets smaller as it moves away. This is called right here vanishing point perspective. Perspective comes from the uh, Latin word. Uh, to view or to see, like uh, spec, the word spec, uh, perspective means to see the illusion of depth. Think of the word uh, inspector, right? To view or to see clues, or spectator, to see or to view an event, or spectacular, to view or see something extraordinary. The word spec is a great, now watch this, I'm going to slant the top. These doors are going to get smaller as they move away. We're going to use a little of this. Now this gets smaller too. See how wide this is? This gets a little bit smaller, a little bit shorter. Just scribble and sketch. Isn't that fun? Doesn't have to be perfect. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just scribble and sketch. I'm just, it's coming down here. I'm going to make this one a little bit smaller as it moves away here. That's, see that's slanting a little bit too much, so I'll make it a little more vertical. I'm looking at the side of my paper. A little bit smaller back here. Just scribble and sketch it and block it in. Isn't that fine? All right, so you see how it gets smaller, 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 and they get closer together as they move away in the distance. Look at our source again. This is what we want to end up with. I think I'm going to have three noses instead of two. Now, look at this other lesson. Now, this was another one of these lessons I did at Mr. Mark Mondays, my home school and my classroom school, one-hour lessons, all right? This is a one-hour lesson. Now, look at how... We put a vanishing point in the middle and all these trees vanishing down here. The road goes back to perspective, the illusion of depth. 
That's what perspective means. Like this roadway goes off to the vanishing point, gets smaller. The room, everything comes down. The building. See, we're doing this with the with the holes of the mouse holes. They're getting smaller as they move away toward a vanishing point. We didn't put the vanishing point, but you can see how it would be off here in the distance. All right. Now, <laughs> let me show you an example of what we're doing in my book here. This is a great book. I hope you guys all get a copy. I hope you, every family gets 10 copies, right? Give them to all your friends. Thank you. That's my shameless book plug. Yay, buy my drawing books. Thank you for support. I love you all. I love you all. This is an example out of the You Can Draw in 30 Days book of the perspective. Now, let me zoom in to show you. See, the remember the Latin root words is the, the word spec, right? It's in the middle of perspective. Kind of like uh, spectacles, glasses, you know, glasses used to be called spectacles to view or to see, to help you see. You see how, you see how these buildings, they get smaller as they move away. So the word perspective can really, another definition is alignment, the illusion of depth, creating the illusion of near and far. So let's we have our near door now watch the near mouse hole let's put the thickness this will be on the left side of a building so that's a whole nother chart called the thickness rule now for you homeschoolers and you classroom schoolers who are here let's put the thickness on the left side of each of these you classroom schoolers and homeschoolers who are members of my mark kister live mr mark mondays you print those charts up have those charts ready tape them to the wall pin them to the wall with your parents permission look at go up here to the right see I'm gonna turn the corner here see this put a little this is called direction north east for you parents and grandparents and adult for you older kids right you kids at heart I'm making this lesson for all the kids and all the kids at heart you adults if you guys want to join for my uh, Mark Kistler Mondays it's uh, 10 o'clock in the morning is my mini marshmallow lesson for 8 and under for an hour. 11.15 in the morning on Mondays is live, is to put the thickness all the way down, is my intermediate advance, is my 11.15. I'm going to put a wall, a doorway, a hallway back here. So watch as it goes off to this vanishing point here. Look at this. It gets smaller and smaller. See that? Going uphill. So if you want to sign up for that, I'd love you to sign up. Be wonderful. Join my... Uh, 1,500 students around the world, about in every time zone. Go to markkisslerlive.com and click sign up. I'd love to have you. It'd be great. Now, what we do is when you do sign up, I would like you to enable your key. You don't have to, but I'd like you to enable your camera so we split screen it. And I let the students show their artwork often during the lesson. You pop up here from kids from China or Russia or Europe or Canada or across the United States. And then I stay on this half and I look at your drawings. We all talk about and text back and forth. At the bottom, there's these icons. It's really cool. You can tell me happy face, sad face, medium face. It's really, really neat. I love it, love it, love it. Now, and all, the, all you guys who are members, thank you for doing this 15-minute challenge with me. 15 minutes a day for 30 days. Let's ignite your imagination. Now, coming down here, let's look at our, our guideline. Coming down in direction southwest, from right here, see this, this line right here? We're going to come down right here. I'm going to about, about right here. Follow this guideline. I'm just going to come out right here. I'm going to make the first mouse's nose. All right, the first mouse's nose. Now... I think I'm I'm gonna draw this now watch this I'm gonna draw the mouse there's the mouse's nose coming out here that was my guideline I'm gonna and then here's the mouse's shiny nose the end there's his snout right and then this guy out here is gonna be right right I'm gonna do it the same angle it's gonna get smaller as it moves away see this coming out here it's gonna be I'm, I'm even using alignment for the nose you see I'm gonna put this nose out here so this guy, you see his nose, can be a little bit smaller. A little bit smaller, there's his nose. And I'll fix that in a second. Now this nose back here, I'm gonna put his nose up. Now remember, if I'm going too fast, you can watch the posting. I'll post these little 15 minute drawing lessons so that you and your friends can draw them over and over again and practice getting ready for our Mr. Mark Mondays for the full hour, all right? So you can show me your work on the camera. Now, if you want to mail me drawings, I got I got mail yesterday. I love getting mail. Thank you for sending me a self-addressed stamped envelope. If you mail me your drawings, 
I would be more than delighted to send you one one of these my uh, really cool my uh, art artist trading cards. Okay, you have to tell me which one you want, and one per family, please. All right, aren't these fun? If you have more than one child in your family, uh, parents, I'll put the names on the back. I'll put a uh, hi Sam, Betty, and Sarah, and sign it. Just one per family free. If you'd like to purchase more, I tell you exactly how. And I th thank you for for supporting me as an artist and a teacher. I appreciate that for buying some of my art cards. That's so cool. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Be a little collector of my art cards. That would be wonderful. Thank you for support. Thank you for supporting my dream of getting a million. YouTube subscribers, subscribe to Mark Kistler Live and drawing this 30-day drawing challenge. Remember, it doesn't matter when you start. Let's put some texture here. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean this up. Let's get a million YouTube subscribers. Subscribe to MarkKistlerLive.com to take this 30-day challenge. Let's see what happens to your imagination. I think you are going to be so completely amazed with the results. What's going to happen with your imagination? What's going to happen with your creativity and your inspiration? Just think of how you're going to ignite, ignite your friends and your family's imagination around you when they see you drawing and thinking and being so wonderfully creative. Here, let's put the fur around. I'm going to put some, uh, let's put some whiskers coming out here. Ooh, I like that. I like the little mouse's furry nose. And if you want to, you can have the. I'm going to put his little eye back here. You can see the, you can see the edge of his eye. Look at this guy. He's looking out. See, look at that. Isn't that cool? Then back eye smaller. The back eye smaller. And then draw the pupil. Remember, if I go too fast, don't panic. Don't worry. You can watch the posting later. I'll post this in just about 20 minutes. It'll be posted. And you can watch it. And you can push pause all you need to. Remember to share the link. And if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to be subscribed to my to my channel. I want to get a million of you artists drawing in 3D. Wee! Awesome! I keep on saying, give me, to say, give me a happy face or sad face, but that's not on this YouTube platform. That's on my Mark Kistler Live, Mr. Mark Mondays platform. I'd love to, love to have you guys sign up. It would be wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Well, good job. Well, now I'm going to put continue. Look at that. I put that contrast shadow below here. See how that contrast pops it out? Isn't that wonderful? Let's get that nice and dark down here. This is contrast. Look at how it really makes it stand out. Now back here, let's, let's work on the. Oh, it's looking so cool. Well, the really fun part of this is when you put a shadow. Look, this is this is probably one of the most important things of this lesson. Is that shadow coming down here in direction southwest? Now watch this. I'm going to turn my paper. I'm going to put the shadow lines coming down here in direction southeast. See, I even use let me darken in that doorway. I'm even going to use the the direction look at this I'm even going to use this direction of coming down in direction southeast for the shadow see that now I'm going to take my stompy or my finger and I'll smooth that out so it'll be a smoother you see that fine look at that and then take your pencil and let's put some shadow underneath I'm having the sun as usual always coming from up here in this position coming down Isn't that funny I've been stuck in this time warp since I was in second grade 50 years ago, I've been stuck at time work, and my son's been stuck right there, so I'm going to put some scribble shading here. Okay, now let's shade inside, up here inside, and it gets lighter. This is curving down, so it's going to get lighter and lighter and lighter, but however, this is a wonderful spot right here. Just a little bit of a contrast, a separation shot. See, I put a little bit of shadow under there. Isn't that fun? All right, this is looking cool. Now, darken in this nose. Oh, this is so much fun. This is so much fun. Love it, love it, love it. How are you doing? I wonder what day you are on. Send me a drawing. If you want your free artist trading card, that's one of my strings attached. Remember, there's strings attached. You need to send me a drawing, one of your drawings. I'll send you one of my drawings, my art cards, if you send me one of your drawings. Is that fair? And I'm going to start putting some of your drawings up on the camera here. I'll make a I'll make a special YouTube video for all the student artwork. We'll call it maybe Student Gallery YouTube video. That'll be fun. All right, so let's put the texture on his nose. And let's put the thickness here. Looking cool, you guys. Now let me show you 
me show you a couple of students work in this book oh this oh the you can draw in 30 days book i hope you get it oh now here's the thickness here's another example of applying thicknesses like we did the, the thickness on the top of each of these holes as they move away. Now look at, just like we did the doors, the holes are larger and they get smaller as they move away. All right, that's a really good lesson. And look at this one right here. Look at these uh, contrasts, look at these holes. See, the student did these horns coming out. This is one student, this is Michelle Prose. She put the thickness on the right side and had the, the horns blasting that way. Look at, this will be another lesson we do is the, the King's Trumpets. Now look at this one. Now, now uh, Marnie Ross, she had the thicknesses on the left side and had the horns going off to the left. Isn't that wonderful. So that's on page 148 of the You Can Draw in 30 Days book. This is a wonderful book to get for a whole family to draw during this 30-day process. You can order online, okay? Let's put that contrast here. Let's define the depth. Oh, I love it. I love it. Now... Oh, I just, uh, the, the emails are asking me how they you can get that free artist trading card. Go to my website, markkisslerlive.com. Click the contact tab, and it tells you all about it, okay? Click the contact tab, and I think it's so cool you guys will start collecting my art cards. I love it. Those are the artist trading cards that I feature at my Comic Con, my Comic Convention appearances, and when I go to do my live school assemblies isn't that fun i've been i visited seven thousand schools in the past 37 years seven thousand schools i do this i draw in front of 600 700 kids at a time isn't that a blast isn't that great You're right on the camera projecting behind me and all the kids are sitting drawing you can see some videos of this you go to my website click it it's really cool you see the kids screaming and drawing Yahoo! really cool now dark down here and it get lighter as it comes down. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my goodness! I, the biggest group I've ever had. I was in Australia. I was in Australia. I can't stop you guys. Look at this. 17 minutes. So oh, I'm trying to keep these to 15 minutes. So I just can't. It seems to be an impossibility. I should just save my 20 minute videos, right? All right. It's good to have a goal, right? Uh, my biggest group. Australia had 5,000 kids in Sydney, Australia, drawing with me in the stadium. Behind me, the dolphins were jumping, and after I finished my, after I finished my drawing demonstration in the arena, it was at Sea World, section at Surfers Paradise, north of Sydney, and uh, to, and you, you folks in Australia that are watching, so I'm getting lots of mail email from Australia. Um, you guys know what I'm talking about that big dolphin arena. Well, I had five that it was full of kids and they, and parents. Now look, I'm putting the shadow I'm gonna, uh, for this one right here, so I'm going to put the guideline. And then I'm going to draw the shadow, darken in the shadow. This shadow's going up, so you won't see much of it. Maybe you'll see just a little bit over here of that shadow way back there, that guy going up. Isn't that fun? I love it. Now put this blend it. Now, if you want to, you can put a texture in the back and put brick walls back here. You can put a wood wall. This, this is called the mouse hole. Or we could say three mice in the hole look at that I blend it you know what I want to give the hole that's let's do that let's give the whole mouse use your finger if you want let's give the whole mouse a tone blend it blend it and we'll give this out oh I like that I love it that is so fun I can't stop but I need to stop that is so cool I love it. I love it. All right. Well, hey, guys, thanks for drawing with me. Remember, check out the Mr. Mark Mondays. Go to MarkusLive.com and look, uh, you parents and you, uh, old, you older adult kids, kids at heart. I'd love you guys to sign up, too. Check it out. It's $49 for the year. It's a wonderful special. It's half off. Thanks for drawing with me. You guys did fantastic. And I'll see you on the next drawing lesson. You guys did great. Bye, everybody.